So, this is how you use vocal. I like to put the icon down here because I use it every day. So I press that here. It's nice and fast to start up and I press record. Remember to buy vocal. And then I set the time. So we've got today at 17.15. And that's saved successfully. And then close the app. And it really is as simple and fast as that. Um, if you want to use it to as a calendar to maybe even replace your calendar, I can show you some of the features. So we can press on calendar here. And you'll see a calendar appears. And you can do list view see all your reminders, so there's the three reminders today the day view, so we've got none on Wednesday we have three today we've got nothing tomorrow, this is a test uh, phone and then you've got the month view in the month view you can see your calendar much like iCal um, Today's date is highlighted there, the 20th, and you can see it's in orange, the text is in orange, which means I have got reminders on that day, and these are the reminders, and then I can press play all, and listen to the day. Remember to buy vocal. Um, and you can see it's going through them. Now, these two here have got ticks on them, which means they're set in the past. As it's now uh, 13 minutes past five, you can see that those two times have passed and they've actually been listened to, so we can tick those. This one here is the one we just set, uh, and it's due to come in in two minutes time. So there's a little alarm on that telling you um, that it's due to set. Now you can select any of these messages from anywhere in the app and you can press edit and when you edit it you can change the date of the appointment so you can just scroll there and change the date, I'm not going to change the date you can actually press up here and type in anything you like so you could type a reminder to uh, read and then you can have more um, to that reminder by voice. And press done. You can actually change the alert as well. And what you can do here is set your appointment say for the dentist and then say alert myself 30 minutes before so I've got time to get in my car and go to the dentist. I'm going to set this at event time because it's nearly time to receive the push. So what we'll do now, and you can also delete here. If you dismiss, it won't alert you, but it will stay in your history. So you can use it as a, a diary as well. So I'm going to go back to the beginning using this button up here. And I'm going to close the app. And what we're going to do is wait for the push. What I'll actually do is close the screen as well. And then you should, there you go, it came through. So, vocal, hello, slide to listen. So we slide and listen. Remember to buy vocal. And there you have it, that's how to buy. Oh, one more thing. When you've just heard a message, if you say you're busy and you want to put the task off, sorry, you want to put the task um, and snooze it until later, so you know you, you're busy now, you can't do the reminder, and you'd like to uh, remember again in an hour's time when you're less busy, you just press the snooze button here, 
and you can it's have a default of 15 minutes but you can change the default in the settings you can also select it here so we go to one hour and that will now remind me again in an hour and you can see if you go into the reminder it was initially for 1715 but if you look in here now the alert is set for 1815 so that will re-alert me in one hour's time if we exit the app there's also settings you find them in the iPhone settings page at the bottom of the list here we've got vocal now in here I'll quickly go through them you can play with them um, default title is on vocal reminder default alert so whenever you set a reminder you can have it to always alert you five minutes before you know anything up to two weeks before default snooze you can just have your snooze so that you press it and it automatically defaults for 15 minutes or you can have it user editable we've got user editable snooze enabled here it's on so I could actually select one hour on the snooze but I could disable that and have it so it's always delayed for an hour startup options if you've had an alert and you're busy and you missed it um, you'll get a little badge number on the application um, just like you do on text messages or uh, emails and you can go into when you go into vocal it'll actually say do you wish to play your unheard alerts so if you've got a backlog of reminders you can always go in and listen to them later and that's turned switched to on auto record this is uh, for people who want to try and automate vocal it's basically hold it to your ear and it starts recording there's also private playback so if you've got a, a, a message that you don't want everyone in the room to hear you turn this on and then all you have to do is hold uh, the iPhone to your ear and it will switch automatically to the earpiece and play it privately for you auto purge after 60 days I can clear out my uh, reminders and I can have it set to 7, 14, 30 days or if you're using it as a diary you can set it to never and these are the help pop-ups that are now switched off they're defaulted to on uh, when you start the app so you can read and know how to use it and then when you press not again they turn back off so that's a quick uh, instructional video on Vocal I hope you like it um, those of you who have bought it, thank you for buying it and enjoy it. Please give us any feedback uh, by visiting our website www.g0.com.